Hey, what's going on, guys? So, we're going to be doing the silent and sneaky approach. Two-man job. Hard mode. 100% payout. So, I've seen a few other YouTubers where they've actually made like quote unquote the fastest approach but they would literally only take one painting or they would just take like a couple of the dollars and stuff and then they would run out you know what i mean but with hard mode you got to crack two fingerprints per lock um you know it's just a lot more challenging and you got to get all the paintings and stuff so this is maximum payout undetected and we got the elite challenge so let me know if you like this just let me know in the comments silent and sneaky hard mode hey. paintings we're going to try our best to get the elite challenge and doing this as fast as possible. Alright. Okay, so Let's do the super door. fair. Oh, by the way, like the video in the next 10 seconds for 10 years of good luck. Hit the juke with the drift. Too. But yeah, to be honest, if you are doing the silent and sneaky approach, you should be going to waste disposal. The reason why I'm going to be going through staff is just to save, you know, an extra like 20 seconds or something. That 20 seconds may be exactly what we need to get the elite challenge. Alright, Terasaka, you're going to be in charge of zapping the cameras or the like the metal detector. Dude, I wonder if this loading time actually counts towards the time. You know what I mean? Oh my god, hurry up. They're not spawning. Oh, we gotta go. Screw those daily vaults. They're a waste of time. The lead challenge is what we gotta focus on. He went on the other side! No! Mother Yakar! I can't believe he went on the other side! That's so annoying. Screw it, we don't even need that guy. Hopefully he doesn't spill the beans. Yeah, so far we're doing so good, but I mean... It depends. Come on. How many plates are these? Six? Total six on hard mode, I think, yeah. No! That was a slip. I slipped right there. I lost a precious couple seconds. First one is good.
Alright. B should be open. Actually, Terasaka, you can crack the fingerprints as well, since you, you're fast with it. Alright, easy peasy. Gonna quickly go to A and B. Actually, uh, you go to A and B. I'll hack the... Once you're done with those two paintings, Terasaka, you go to A and B. Oh wait, they're all open. We're good. Alright, yeah, you just make your way to A and B and then I'll get C and D. We're good. We're not wasting our time on the security boxes. Nice. Alright, once you're done with that, let's just go to the vaults. I'll be ready. Time is off the essence, my boy. This is not bad. For Silent and Sneaky, we have 40 seconds we just saved on. I'm thinking when's the best time to actually call the EMP. I'm thinking if we can do it a little bit earlier. That actually might save us. You know what? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whack them only if we have to, you know what I mean? If they're in our vicinity. We're gonna run through it all. We gotta wait. That's the only annoying thing about the EMP. Yo, we actually ran through straight from the bottom all the way to the top. And we still have so much time. That was fast as hell, eh? That's the only thing I wish Rockstar Games would patch or something. It's that you could go through the the staff exit. While the EMPs are still out. Or like one, or like even with the lights out and everything. Alright, remember, just keep running against the guardrail, don't make eye contact with any of the cops, and don't run, don't jump, none of that stuff. You actually run faster unarmed, so I'm gonna do that. Well, that's only if you have a, a rifle out. Yo, let me drive just because I uh, remember last time. Just try uh, stopping him, but let me drive because the helicopter may not spawn. Could you get him? Oh, dude, if you could get him, that would have been so clutch. Yo, this is good time right now. Does anyone know how long this has been so far? Also, whenever you, you park, park right over here and it spawns you up at the top since the door is obstructed. Oh my god, dude. I always fail on that one. Yes. 
If we hit 11 minutes, that would be nuts. Anything under 12, but I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. It is what it is, after all. And the reason why I fly really low is because I'm trying to, like, nosedive. I'm trying to fly the helicopter, like, with the nose front. So I can travel a lot faster. It's also a lot more riskier, though. I think one time I hit a light pole. Or no, the telephone poles. I think this one's gonna be where? The Zancudo shore side? 13 minutes? I don't know. I actually don't know. Alright, everyone leave a comment right now. A message, comment. Don't cheat. How long do you think we're gonna do this in? We might have to do an epic gamer jump out though. We got it. Let's go. Alright, yo, this has to be fast. I'd be fine with 12 minutes in the 12 minute mark, but we'll see. If we got 11, I'd actually shit myself. Come on, come on. What's it gonna be? 13? It's hard, but I mean, 13 minutes on silent and sneaky is not too bad. Right now, my record's 12 minutes and 48 seconds. But I mean, silent and sneaky, 13 and 32, that's not too bad. I won't lie. Otherwise, we still hit the elite challenge, which is good. So you get an extra 100,000 from that. Well, there you have it. Great success.